to live in. Maria's next up, Atlanta, Georgia, on the Democrats' line. Good morning to all. Good morning. Yes, I have a question and I have a comment. First of all, I am, I'm so frustrated with the country. I don't even vote anymore. America's not the greatest country. They prove that the way they treat people, $600 and all that stuff, no health care, no free coverage. You can go to other countries and get this. But I have a question for the guests. Do he believe that in the first start of getting things together with people is to shred that Constitution that their forefathers wrote? I quote, their forefathers wrote. Because I personally believe that's the start of You can't have that in here in this day and time. And that's what I feel. I would like to hear his response. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, uh, please vote. Please, it's 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 all we've got. Um, voting voting is all we have, and I know it's not enough. Voting is not enough, but it but it is the start. So so please vote. Um, read the Constitution. Look, I I I believe that the Constitution is a racist document. I believe that it was written. In, uh, it was written at a time when the people were racist. It was written to support a white supremacist state. Um, and that's and it's structurally still that document. Now, it has been updated. I tend to think, and this is my view, not everybody uh, agrees with me, not everybody on, on, on my side of the aisle agrees with me. I tend to think that the 14th Amendment with its guarantee of equal protection and substantive due process for all, is enough that if applied to the rest of the document to save the Constitution from its original sense, to redeem the Constitution from the racism and bigotry and sexism of its founding. I believe that the 14th Amendment you know, you know, 13th, 15th, 19th, they're a couple, but I really fundamentally the 14th Amendment does the work if we simply apply it. So my fight, my struggle, my my battle is always against conservatives who tell me that the 14th Amendment should be limited, cabled, and basically put in, you know, put in one section of the Constitution and not read to redeem the entire the entire mess of it, right? Like that that to me is the fundamental. That is why I fight so hard against people like Amy Coney Barrett or Neil Gorsuch, um, or some of these Republican jurists that they put on our federal courts because they don't believe that the Fourteenth Amendment is allowed to fix everything. I believe that the Fourteenth Amendment is allowed to fix everything. If you don't believe that, if you don't think the Fourteenth Amendment is allowed to fix everything. Then you kind of I, then you end up then I at least I would end up where the caller was and say well the Constitution is wrong we should start over let's remember just and I know this I'm, I'm getting a little longer but let's remember what happened in South Africa right after apartheid in South Africa after apartheid they didn't just like put some ornaments on their Constitution and be like all right we're good now no they started over in a constitutional convention that this time included all of the people in South Africa, white, black, and other. They took two years and they wrote a new constitution. That constitution, the South African constitution, is actually right now, for my money, the best written constitution in the world because it was made by an inclusive body. Our constitution was made by only rich white men. After the Civil War, there was the amendments were made by only rich white men. Um, and, 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 and I think that's a that's a fundamental flaw if we do not apply the cures available to it. 